Alright, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be, He exists, the existing one. Bahasham is in the name Yahweh Shai, His only begotten Savior Son. Holy Holy Glory, He calls the Lord in Jesus Christ, His name is Yahweh Shai, which means He deliverer, He Savior. Israel is going to need a deliverer and a Savior. In these last days, from the onslaught of the devil, he saw Edom, the deceiver of the whole world, right? And yeah, the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? They are being glorified on a daily, and as we, the true prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the ones that were sent, pursuant to John three and to the tree, right? He whom the Lord had sent, speaking the words of the Most High. If not to the trees to the four. Right? It says um it says um can canuk law canuk law right this is um out of Canada February twenty third, twenty twenty four. This is the talk of the, the, the talk of the tongue the flavor of the week. Um Private members Bill C three six seven removing religious protections for anti Semitic expressions. Now the powers that I call in the beginning of this lesson, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakakodash, they are the powers of Israel. And Israel is a a a, a, a Shamite. Because what Noah had three sons, Shem Ham or Sham Ham and Japhat. Right? So it says what well, protections for anti Semitic, which should be Shemitic expression, which we should fall, we, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we should fall underneath these protections. But we have an imposter, the scripture says what, a bastard shall dwell in the land of Ashdod. Ashdod is the ancient way of saying, uh, sorry, Tel Aviv is the ancient way, or is, it, is, is Tel Aviv is the modern name for the ancient city Ashdod. Right, so like yeah, if I come across tongue twisted this morning, right? It says C three six seven, forty fourth Parliament first session November twenty second twenty twenty one to present an act to amend the criminal code promotion of hatred or anti semitism, right? It goes to show you, you know, there's a saying if you want to know who's in rulership, um, um, see who you can speak against. Right, so these people are trying to play the both sides of the fence, they're trying to play the victim and the villain at the same time, right? Because they're calling themselves the people of the Lord, who, according to prophecy, is going to be the victims in these last days, right? He saw the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, of him that follow it, right? The end of one rulership and the rulership to come up to rise up in the end. It's the rulership of Jacob, but they're claiming to be Jacob now and to be persecuting Esau. Right? What is 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 the opposite way around? Right? It says a private member's bill is getting renewed. Expression for the potential impact it may have. Bill C three six seven would remove belief based on a religious text as a defense to certain criminal charges. I'm going to know a bit. It says the, the text of bill would remove both sections 319 3b and 319 3.1b from criminal code. It says of Canada whose pr provisions provide legal defense defenses to people charged with the willingful promotion of anti-semitism. If it is done in the context of religious expression truth is still allowed for now and this this fulfills many a uh, scripture all right um i wanted to start here it's Sirach 42 and 24 and 25 i'll read it in the kjv and then i'll read it in the gnt all things are double one against another right one against so in other words they, they are opposites right and he had made nothing imperfect. The Lord made it that way. That's how we that's how we could establish one from the other. 
one thing establishing the good or or another or in another version we say of another and who shall be filled with the beholding with beholding his glory right if you also read this in the um in the print it may read of another right so i want to read it in the uh, gnt gnt bible surah 42 and 24 and 25 all things are in pairs each opposite of the other it says but nothing the lord made is incomplete so what, what that means you know you can't have light without darkness you can't have good without evil right but everything has its own virtue or glory right everything completes the goodness of something else could anyone ever see enough of this splendor right could anyone see enough of this splendor and this splendor or this glory in the in the, in the kjv it says glory right this glory beholding his glory is of yahweh Hashem, because he's the power that spoke of these things from four times right what did he speak of this is the book of second Esther's, um chapter 16 and i'm gonna start at verse 17 it says for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses then shall they be known who are my chosen they shall be tried as gold in the fire so anti-semitic anti-semitism or anti-semitic talk is not being done by the christian churches it's not being done by the baptists it's not being done by the by islam it's not being done by any any other so-called anti-semitism right so-called hate speech all right they, they they're literally targeting the men that truly fear yahweh shimmy and don't fear men right let's go let's go let's go down here a little bit more in the, in the article it says of course the vagueness of these hate speech laws is already an issue nothing is properly defined which makes it very subjective but remove a potential justification what what that's worth a closer look so you see that this is the devil being the devil for you right they leave it vague enough just like they are the laws the electronic monitoring bill in trinidad section 34 act number 11 the scriptures talk of them you know i'm writing unrighteous decrees right who prescribe unrighteous who write and prescribe unrighteous decrees right warn to them you know they make these decrees vague enough that they, they could they could pass without a second look but when you really examine them right it's open enough to implicate anything and anyone at any time subject to their subject to their indiscretion i don't put it like that not their discretion their indiscretion you see that with the cops all the time you know it's up to the cops discretion for for tint tint laws for example until they bring in a meter and yet still they'll bring in the meter and it'll still be misused right it says defenses no person shall be con convicted of an offense under su subsection 2 if he establishes that the statements communicated were true if in good faith you say in other words they establish what you're saying concerning the scriptures so they're gonna have their scientists right which the scripture say so far as you call prove that what against the true israelites that you are not you are not an israelite you are not of this the line of shem i guess i guess i speak presumptuously right because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to prove that what you're saying is true right when our proof is in is is is, is in um faith we are right we are saved by faith and not by um and not by uh, we walk by faith and not by sight right the scripture says uh the spirit bed witness that he are the sons of of yahweh bashem we are the true jacob and, and and not esau and edom right and even though esau and edom they 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 submit shamatic as well right jacob Ju, J, um judah benjamin levi all the way down to issachar and other the southern kingdoms we shamatic as well but guess what hey elam shamatic as well so what is our anti semitic or shamatic law right it's just it's just some bs that he saw think up to persecute further persecute the poor and the meek right which all in turn will glorify yahweh right 
It says, B, if in good faith the person expressed or attempted to establish by an argument an opinion on a religious subject or an opinion based on a belief in a religious text. If the statements were relevant to any subject of public interest, the discussion of which was for the public benefit, and if on reasonable grounds he had believed them to be true or if in good faith he intended to point out for the purpose of removal of matters producing or tending to produce feelings of hatred towards an identifiable group in Canada. Right, so we can examine that and see that one of the things that it talks about the interest in the public interest, the discussion which the, the public benefit, if not reasonable grounds to believe them to be true, would be the argument of what is the MOTB and why not to take it because your power in heaven is going to destroy you if you do take it. Right, so it's going to be to the benefit, it's going to behoove you to listen to the prophets and to be warned the scriptures say give them warning from me he also said to the prophets what um to wash your hand and the blood so you know we have to speak until the lord says don't speak right we have to speak and we have to teach and we have to warn about the motb right so now this is this is going to be subject to 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 their to their indiscretion you know because like for example when they was passing the um the 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 Iki Viki, right? They had the um, the minister held down here in Trinidad saying what he was going to have. The, so let's say they started in January, the, the, the January of two thousand and twenty one or twenty. I think it was like three years or whatever, right? So twenty twenty one, whatever. The September he said he was gonna. The September the previous year he was saying he was gonna start a heavy campaign against the anti maxers right he's gonna go a heavy campaign against the anti-maxers right the anti um vikias you know read really between the lines those who would not take the juicy juice right and they slandered those as being non-scientific statements or non-researched um solutions right non-accredited or qualified recommendations so this is what they're gonna come with and and to what to to deceive the simple right which the scripture says also many shall be what perplexed in that day why are you gonna be perplexed when you go into that word perplexed it goes into parazo which means to what not knowing which way to choose right so this is them creating that environment of not knowing which way to choose right this is the book of Isaiah 46 and 9 remember the former things of old for I am power and there is none else I am power and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure you were declaring to be conspicuous Nagad or Nagad to make or to tell to make known to tell to declare to announce to report to declare make known expound in form of to publish declare proclaim and this is what the, the prop the um, the messengers as it's in five a say what messenger this is what the messengers of the lord the heralds of the lord do right so this is a this is a clear attack on that message and the messenger right it says um declaring declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure so where's the lord's counsel right prophecies right the spirit of yahweh is the spirit of prophecy right isaiah 42 and verse 8 i am yahweh and that, that is my name i and my glory i will i not give to another my praise to graven images right so i the, the image of um Sergio Borgia, right? The one who the world um ignorantly called Jesus the Christ, right? Or Jesus surname Christ. That's how they they acknowledge him, right? He's not gonna be glorified because his glory, when they look up the word glory goes into what? Kabod, glory, honor, glorious, abundance, riches, splendor, glory, dignity, reputation, honor, reputation, right? Reverence, glory, right? strong definition properly weight but only figuratively in a good sense plan or 
copiousness copiousness right copiousness the property of a more and adequate quantity or supply synonyms abundance team teamingness antonyms scarceness or scarcity a small inadequate amount right so copiousness the property of a more than adequate quantity or supply so guys you have about he's the fountain of living waters all right that's the fountain of living waters that is our um salvation how shy right it says behold the former things are come to pass and the new things do i declare right um what famine plague pestilences destructions right and there's what one of the former things one of the things that are going to come to pass is what the famine of the wood right this is going to bring forth the famine of the wood before they spring forth i tell you of them right and this is us singing that song us as in our uh, 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 of the hopefully elect the prophet and also a prophet right speaking before time was to happen right that this is going to bring famine of the wood right start it, it, it has to start somewhere it has to start somewhere it starts in Canada, North America, right? This is the book of Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, say the Lord God, that I will send famine in the land, not a famine of bread or thirst of water but of hearing the words of the lord and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord and shall not find it right they shall not find it because why because great insurrection is going to be made upon him on 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 the men of the lord right that declare it the true power how about but this man is going to make a, a great he's going to make an attempt to fight against those men and against their power right so that happened was edifying if not informative all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim Shalom to the elect